One of the things that we have to do as a programmer is often call a series of steps, but to do so with only a single call. And depending upon our language, we might call this a procedure, we might call this a function, and in some cases, we might even call this a method. That doesn't matter. The fact that it's a predefined process is what we care about today. Because in a flowchart, we have a way of showing that. In this example, I want to use the ideal gas law. And if you're not familiar with it, it's PV equals NRT. That's not important right now because what we're going to do is we're going to say, you know what, there's a predefined method out there already that we can use. How do we do that? Well, luckily there's a symbol for us to use. So I'm going to come over here to our predefined process. It looks like our process, except you'll notice it has two vertical lines, one on each side. And over here, I'm just going to click inside it and do volume equals ideal gas law. Now you'll notice one of the things I did was I uppercase the new letter of each word. This is called camel case, and it's commonly found in things like Java, C++, and many other languages. It's not the only way. There's other types of naming conventions, but this is one standard way. If you know that this is going to be used in a certain language, then you probably want to have a way that's familiar with that language. If you don't know what language, you probably have a methodology that either your teacher or your management has defined use that, and in case there's not something to find that way, pick what works easiest for you. This just makes it a little bit easier for us to be able to read. And so I'm going to draw my connector from here all the way down. Now, what's inside this ideal gas law? I don't know. It's predefined someplace else. And I could give this off to a coworker; They could work on it. I could give this to another student. They could work on it. It doesn't matter. It's defined someplace else. All I have to know is to go do it. When I get done, I get a volume out of it. And then I can do anything I want with this particular variable. For example, I'm going to say print the calculated volume is volume. Okay, that's all I have to do. It's, it's very, very simple. And then once I'm done with that, I come in here put my terminator and define my terminator as being the end. So this is a very simple way of combining potentially multiple steps. Now, this could just be one kind of complex step and we want to give it an easy name so it's easier to identify what's going on. Or we could do a really complex thing that's made up of hundreds of steps. And in some of those cases, they're going out there calling another predefined process. And we do this all the time nor make our lives easier. Why reinvent the wheel when we've got a good working example? So with our black box, we can go and take that predefined process, get a whole bunch of work ahead of us, and we can be confident that's going to work correctly. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for our one last video on this series of working with flowcharts to see how we put all this stuff together.